Jumbo. Welcome to the continuing series of videos, General Economics with Kihumba. In this video, we are going to look at shift in demand curve and also movement along the demand curve. Let's start with shift in the demand curve. A shift in the demand curve is also known as change in demand. A shift in the demand curve occurs when one of the determinants influencing demand changes holding price of the commodity constant. It occurs when demand for goods and services change, even though the price of the good did not change. This is to say, when any of the factors influencing demand changes, other than commodities own price and holding those other factors constant, the entire demand curve shifts. A shift in demand curve means at the same time, consumer wish to buy more. Like we mentioned, a shift in demand curve is also known as change in demand. When the demand curve shifts, it changes the amount purchased at every, at every price point. For instance, when income of the consumer rises, people buy more of everything they want, even though the price remains the same. On the other hand, when income falls, people can buy less of everything they want, though the price remains constant. The demand curve can shift upward or downwards. However, in most of the cases, it remains parallel to the original demand curve since the prices of the commodities have not changed. We've mentioned that the demand curve can either start shift upward or downwards. Let's start with an upward shift in demand curve. An upward shift in demand curve is caused by favorable changes in any of the factors influencing demand, holding price of the commodity constant. When this happens, the entire demand curve shifts upward to the right and hence increase in income as shown in the alongside figure. The shift to the right is interpreted to show that as demand increases, consumers are willing to buy more of a given product than they were buying before, though the price have remained constant. If you could look at the figure that we have alongside, our original demand curve is D. But as a result of a favorable change in any of the factors that influence demand, we, we end up with the entire demand curve shifting to the left, sorry, shifting to the right to, D, to D1. You notice, even though price remains the same at P0, quantity demanded has increased from Q0 to Q1. As mentioned, this is caused by favorable changes in any of the factors influencing demand holding price constant. And they would include one, increase in price of a substitute good, two, decrease in price of a complementary good, three, increase in consumer's income, four, favorable trade in consumer's income. For instance, preference for white meat over red meat may increase the demand for chicken, even though price of chicken has not changed. The other would be favorable weather conditions. In hot weather, we are likely to pick a bottle of Coca-Cola as opposed to as opposed to a cup of hot coffee and expectations of future price increases among us others. 
it is important to note that an upward shift in demand curve is also known as increase in demand or lightward shift in demand curve. Let's now turn our attention to downward shift in the demand curve. A downward shift in demand curve is caused by unfavorable changes in any of the factors influencing demand holding price of the commodity constant. In this case, the entire demand curve shifts downwards to the left and hence a decrease in demand as shown in figure alongside. Our original demand curve in this case was D1, but with unfavorable changes in demand, the entire demand curve shifts downward to D2. And hence, we have a decrease in quantity demanded. Previously, it was Q1, now it's Q2. This shift to the light, to the left, shows that when demand decreases, consumers are willing and able to buy less for a given product than they were buying before, even though price have remained unchanged. Let's now look at movement along the demand curve, which is also known as change in quantity demanded. A movement along a demand curve takes place when there is a change in quantity demanded due to a change in commodities owned price, holding other factors influencing demand constants. A change in price causes a movement along the demand curve, which can either be a contraction, which means less demand, or an expansion, which would mean more demand. A change in price does not shift the demand curve. Rather, we merely move from one point to the other on the same demand curve. A change in price holding other factors constant causes a movement along the demand curve, which have, as we've seen, it can either be a contraction or an expansion. A contraction in demand is brought about by an increase in price. For instance, if pr our price was to increase from 10 to 12, then would have a movement from this point upward to the other point. And the commodity demanded will contract from 45 to 40. On the other hand, an expansion in demand results from a fall in price, uh, meaning, other fact, uh, meaning holding other factors constant. For instance, if price was to fall from 10 to seven, this should be seven, not 10, leads to an expansion, which is an increase in demand from 55 to 75, and a movement from this point to this other point along the demand curve. And we have more commodities being bought. In summary, movement along the demand curve is known as a movement it is, it is denotes a change in both price and quantity demanded from one point to the other on the demand curve. We also refer to as movement along the demand curve as change in quantity demanded. This movement along the demand curve is caused by changes in price of the commodity holding other factors influencing demand constant. On the other hand, a shift in demand curve occurs when goods when a goods quantity demanded or supplied change, even though price remains the same. It is referred to a change in demand. We shall look at shift in supply curve, even though I've made it reference to it here. And it is caused by changes in any other factors influencing demand, holding price constant. Thank you. In our next video, we shall look at elasticity of demand. Please comment subscribe to this channel, share and like. Asanteni.